Distinguished Colin Kelapile, President of the Economic and Social Council, distinguished ministers and delegates, representatives of the major groups and stakeholders, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as the President of the sixth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly, I would like to express my deep appreciation for the opportunity to convey our key messages and recommendations of the United Nations Environment Assembly to the high-level political forum. The Environment Assembly seeks to contribute to the mainstreaming and full integration of the environmental dimension in the implementation of the 2030 Agenda and in the recovery efforts from the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic slowdown or maybe recession that the world is currently facing. As you all know, the world is not on track to achieve the 2030 Agenda. It was indeed reflected in the Secretary General's report on the progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals that the catastrophic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on people's lives, on people's livelihoods and on global efforts to realize the, the SDGs are now beyond dispute. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the economic slowdown, climate change, environmental degradation and conflicts around the world have further strained our ability to achieve the SDGs. The pandemic has also shown us that strong environmental governance are, can be built on science to help catalyze an urgent response. We need to learn from these experiences we need to consider what is needed to truly build better at the scale and pace required and ensuring that no one is left behind. The Building Back Better process should particularly focus on implementing policies, policies that drive fundamental transformations towards sustainable development, taking decisive and effective action to address climate change, biodiversity loss, pollution and waste in a way that matches the challenges we are facing. In this regard, and in order to contribute to the acceleration of the implementation of the 2030 Agenda, the Environment Assembly has pri prioritized policies that can have multiplier effects and allow progress in not only the SDGs under review, but several SDGs, if not all. Among these, we could highlight the following. Well, first, we need to promote transformative and systematic change and policies that address several environmental, economic and social challenges simultaneously, rechanneling financial flows to serve the attainment of the SDGs through innovative and holistic approaches. These approaches that truly value nature, as well as mainstreaming in a balanced manner, the environmental dimension of sustainable development into national policies, into national strategies and planning. We need to strengthen the science policy interface. Science must inform and drive financial and economic and behavioral shifts towards sustainable consumption, but also sustainable production patterns. Share knowledge, building capacity in the areas of research and development, technology innovation, to improve information knowledge sharing and technical support for an inclusive, resilient, sustainable recovery. We also need to promote and strengthen ecosystem-based approaches and nature-based solutions, mainstream and coordinate conservation, restoration and sustainable use of biodiversity into sectoral policies and programs with a view to preventing against current health risks, but also future health risks. We need to ensure sustainable and resilient infrastructure, brownfield and greenfield infrastructure by strengthening frameworks that maintain and enhance ecological connectivity, avoid further fragmentation and minimize other potential impacts on ecosystem and livelihoods, and promote natural infrastructure. We want also to integrate circular economy approaches to achieving sustainable consumption and production in relevant national and regional strategies and action plans, and encourage partnerships to promote and enhance circular economy approaches. We want to strengthen links between biodiversity conservation, sustainable use and public health in sectoral policies and in accordance with the One Health approach. Very importantly, we need to address the problem of plastic pollution, including marine litter and microplastics, prioritizing a whole life cycle approach and resource efficiency and strengthen global coordination 
cooperation and governance to take immediate actions towards the long-term elimination of plastic pollution. We want to strengthen environmental governance and foster rule of law to enhance implementation of existing obligations on, under international environmental law and strengthen environmental laws, policies and regulatory frameworks indeed at the national, regional and global levels without reducing the existing levels of environmental protection. We want to ensure gender equality and the human rights and empowerment of women and girls in environmental governance. We want to strengthen capacity across all sectors for the effective implementation of international environmental law and ensure access to information, access to public participation in decision-making processes and access to justice in environmental matters. We want to enhance the provision and mobilization of all types and sources of means of implementation, as well as promote sustainable and innovative financing opportunities and mechanisms to unlock new capital for sustainable investment and upscaling sustainable business models. We are convinced that by implementing these measures, we will be able to accelerate and advance the contribution of environmental dimension of sustainable development to building a resilient and inclusive world and accelerated delivery of the decade of action, our decade of action. Thank you for the opportunity to share these messages with you. Bye-bye.